Hi guys, I just wanted to take a few moments to show you the look that I did today. It's a bright teal look and if you kind of want to have fun with some really bold color, um, then I'll go ahead and reference what products I use below and you can also play this video. I'm kind of hoping to start venturing out into actually doing tutorials and showing you how I put on the makeup, but right now I'm just going to go ahead and feature the products that I use and then that way you can pick them up and kind of create this look if you wanted to on your own and um, hopefully later I'll be able to be a little bit more adventurous, be a little bit more comfortable and try to do actual tutorials. But for this look today on my face, I used my um, Natural Beige Laura Mercier Mineral Powder and I kind of noticed um, that my skin was a little bit dry and it could be because of the attack uh, salt that I put on my acne breakout and so I could have went a little overboard so I just felt like kind of uh, just evening out my skin tone a little bit but not really flooding it with a lot of products so I just um, resorted to this one that I had and it's Natural Beige by Laura Mercier, as I mentioned earlier. This is nice, it has an SPF of 15. So if you're using like um, benzoyl peroxide based acne products or just any type of maybe even prescription acne products and you need to wear SPF, sometimes a nice way of um, getting by is using a mineral powder that already has an SPF built into it. And um, for this eye, I started off with a base and I used this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and it's in electric blue. And this is great. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. Look how bright that is. So I used that and then over the top, I had this from a really long time ago and I don't know, I just felt really inspired to wear a lot of teal today. Hence my shirt color, my eye color. And this is by um, Lancome and it's part of their color design personal style eyeshadows. And it says that the color is... I think the color is actually personal style and it's a metallic. Um, maybe comment below and correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I can tell, the color is called personal style and it's it's almost like an aqua, tealy, I don't know, craziness um, eyeshadow color. I really like it. So I just put that over that base that I showed you and that's kind of the effect that I got. And then I um, just took one of my neutral colors from the Urban Decay Naked palette and the color that I used is the third one in right there and it's called Naked and I used that just to kind of um, soften the harshness of that bright teal. I just used it right in the crease um, using one of my blending brushes and just kind of like soften the um, the gradation. Um, I kind of tried to keep the color concentrated just on my lid. I didn't do any highlight under my brow or any um, dark color in my outer V. I just kind of wanted to keep it bright um, without having that harsh um, crease. So after that, I went ahead and lined with my L'Oreal Hip black eyeliner and this is in 905 black this is great I love this stuff it's great quality great price and it's really accessible um, I actually prefer this over the MAC fluid line um, believe it or not so if you don't have this and you typically use the MAC one and maybe you're trying to cut back on makeup expenses this holiday season uh, this is very comparable and it's great quality so you might want to try and pick that up and then after I did that, I actually did a false lash today and I used uh, Red Cherry Lashes in number 30. I have them on now. And then um, just as a tip, it's a really dramatic lash and it's just like full lash from, from here to here. So what I did was I actually cut half of it off. So this half is gone. I just snipped it with my scissors and I just wore the outer... Um, part of the lash and it kind of felt like it was just way too much. I mean, it's the middle of the day right now. I probably shouldn't even be wearing lashes, but um, I guess it's just part of the disease is once you start getting into doing your makeup, then you're like, oh, I can do this and oh, I can do that. So I felt like, you know, getting some practice in with false lashes. So if you like these, they're number 30. They're by Red Cherry. And as I mentioned, I did cut off half the lash. 
And then just to kind of um, blend it, blend the rest of my lashes in with my um, false lashes is I just used my Maybelline Lash Stiletto and I just took it after um, the glue dried. Oh, I use this really awesome glue. I use um, the Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive. Hello. And it's the bomb. Um, if you typically use dual, which I I thought that was like the only lash glue that, you know, was easy to get and that it was like the best one out there. But this is the best one out there. I mean, you can still use dual. I still have like three tubes of them, but they're just collecting dust because I really like this. Let me show you the wand. The wand is like that and you just kind of place it over the lash and it kind of like dries like a tint of blue and that's how you kind of know that um, the tackiness is just right to start placing it on your lid. So I like that because I'm not like a professional lash putter on her. So like I need help knowing as far as like the color changing to let me know to place it on. I mean that's helpful for me. Like I said, um, I'm not a professional. I just enjoy doing makeup. So once my lashes were on and they were dried, I used my lash stiletto and I just kind of blended in the rest of my lashes um, with the false lash and did a little bit on my bottom lash. Um, and then at the very end of it all to kind of just tie off my look, I used my Hard Candy Living Doll number 125 blush and I mentioned this in my first video which was my November favorites and it really is a favorite I'm using it every day um it's just a light flush of pink and like I mentioned before there's no glitter it's just a nice shimmery pinky gold and so I just kind of brushed that over the cheek to kind of tie it all in um, with my lips. My lips are actually, I believe these were a limited edition color. I don't have it here. I forgot to bring it from my bathroom, but it was uh, Saint Germain. And I um, just went ahead and put some of my Purr lip gloss that I mentioned in my favorites as well over it. Um, but I don't, I don't think that they, they carry Saint Germain anymore. So you'll have to check on that. And if they do, comment below and let me know because I will like seriously take like three backups if if I'm able to because I really like this color. It's just like a kind of pale washed out pink. So when you do like a really dramatic eye, it's nice to have a lip that's not as bold because I just kind of feel like, I don't know, I kind of feel like if you're kind of doing a lot on one end, everything else should kind of be subdued. Like if you're going to wear a really short skirt, your top shouldn't be showing anything. Kind of the same theory when you go for makeup. I mean, if you're going to do a really bold eye, then um, kind of take a step back as far as color goes with lip. Unless you're having like a full blown out like makeup extravaganza where you're really trying to like almost... I don't know, just do it up. But anyway, um, this is my look for today. I am just paired it with a cute little crochet teal top. And um, I borrowed one of my daughter's little ribbon clips and some, some little rhinestone studs. And so hope you enjoy this look. And I'll make sure to go ahead and post everything below in the... Um, description box because I think it's really helpful when you watch these videos and then you know you don't have to like be writing 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 things down as fast as you can or like rewinding it to find out what the items were go ahead and list it for you below and go ahead and subscribe I'm gonna keep trying to record videos and I'd really enjoy the like hear about comments of kind of things I can improve I'm hoping Santa will bring me a HD camcorder so um, we'll see but anyway thanks for joining me on my channel and take care have a great day bye